What is up, brochachos and muchachos out there? Hope everybody's having a great and fabulous day. Good morning, good afternoon, good night. Pretty much, how the hell are ya? <laughs> Anyways, I was just thinking, sitting, I just had a birthday that passed, and you know what the possible, worst possible present I could have possibly received? And that would definitely be my motorcycle getting stolen. That would probably be the worst possible birthday I can ever have in my life. So in this video, I'm just going to kind of go over a few things that I do to make sure that that doesn't happen. If that's something you're interested in, stay tuned. Let's get it. Right. Well, let me go ahead and paint the picture for you real quick. You've been scraping and saving up every single penny that you possibly can for months now. You've Got not gone out with the boys, you're eating ramen every single night, you've deleted your Tinder, your Hinge, whatever the hell you use, you just can't go out right now, you're saving up for your bike, and when you finally get that bike, I mean, you cannot be happier, you are just filled with bliss, and it is a celebration, you are telling everybody and anybody that is willing to listen to what you have to say, but you have no idea no idea whatsoever what lurks behind the shadows i mean forget the fact that motorcycling to begin with is a very dangerous hobby that you're willing to pick up but have you ever thought about just how easy it is to throw your leg over a bike without a key and just roll it away in neutral yeah it's pretty damn easy i mean one thing about thieves that hasn't changed in forever is the fact that they're lazy pieces of shit they always want to do the easier route. They never obviously work for anything in their life because they're thieves. We're going to be talking about protection. Not that kind of protection. Real life security protection. We want to give you and your bike a fighting chance against the enemy, which is thieves. So we're going to talk about a few measures that you can take and hopefully protect your bike. Let's get right into it. So you got chain locks, you got U locks, you got disc locks. Chain locks are probably the most annoying because you're gonna have to carry that shit around wherever you go. I mean, that it could weigh about to 15 pounds, maybe even more. I don't know. I don't want to know. That's not something I would be carrying around. U locks, on the other hand, they are a lot lighter. So you know, this is a second best I guess you could say chain locks are probably gonna be the strongest cuz obviously they are more material more metal blah 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 this is what I like to carry in every single one of my bikes and it's a disc lock if you don't know what a disc lock is I mean you sh you definitely should and if you're on the fence on whether or not you want to buy one I don't see why you would be it's a simple it goes around your disc your brake disc in the front you lock it some of them have alarms some of them don't when it comes to locks it only is going to help you if you are going to if you're really going to use it every single time you park your bike now that does also factor into when you should use it i mean if i'm going to go somewhere and my bike's going to be away from me for more than 30 to an hour i will put the disc lock on if you're at home you know if i lived in an apartment complex or you know a uh, apartment where there was a parking garage or an open parking i wouldn't mind putting the chain lock because of the fact that i'm going to be at home i'm not carrying that thing around wherever i go now a u-lock is also you know if you don't want to get a chain lock a, a, sorry a disc lock get a u-lock i mean that's probably the best uh you know of, of both worlds chain locks in my eyes are just inconvenient and here goes the alarm that's that's the alarm for the disc lock big and bulky and i'm not trying to carry 15 pounds in my backpack whatsoever thing that you could possibly get would be a, a gps tracker now i'm not going to go into too much in depth in this because i do feel that this deserves its own video but it's pretty much a gps tracker i mean you know i'm sure you you're aware of how gps works um, the next thing that I would say you should get into would probably be a bike cover. Thieves are lazy. They do not work for anything that they get. They just want to take and take. And they will see a bike with a bike cover and they will look around to see if there's any other bikes. And if there is another bike without a bike cover, I'm guarantee you that they will go for that bike. It's a common nature for them to just want to just do it the easier route and just you know not deal with the bike so if you have a bike cover on it forget the fact that it's already protecting your paint if you have a good one if you get a shitty bike cover then you know whatever but if you get a good one that's going to protect from the element the main thing that i can stress enough is the fact 
of getting insurance. Now I know, I know that you know there's you know probably a lot of you guys out there are probably young, um, and I remember when I got my first street bike, insurance rates were just astronomical. They were four thousand dollars for the year. I mean the bike was not even thirty five hundred dollars. It was just madness and crazy. Would always stress to get insurance, you know. But even though I have insurance on both my bikes, they are covered one hundred percent. I don't want them to get stolen so that's gonna tie into the next thing that I'm gonna be talking about and is that that's just use your head if you're going let's say you're going to meet up a few friends and you guys go and you're gonna hop in their car and go with their you know uh, and they're gonna drive and you're gonna park your bike know where you're gonna park your bike I mean if you're just going somewhere in the middle of downtown I mean especially here in LA just park it on the side of the street I mean that's something and with no protection whatsoever it gets stolen it's kind of on you at the same time like would never ever park my bike somewhere especially in the city um, for long periods of time sure if I'm gonna go into a store for a little bit it's still gonna get the disc lock it's still gonna get all that uh, it's just you got to use your head where you're gonna take where are you going to end up with your bike? Make sure that it's as safe as possible. Well-lit areas. I mean, at the end of the day, if a thief wants your bike, they will figure out a way to get it. So there's no stopping that. But there are deterrents for, you know, uh, spontaneous thievery, I guess you could say. Where, you know, maybe they're just driving by and they just, like, see your bike and they're like, Oh, wow, that's a really nice bike. Let's try to get it. You know what I mean? Like, it happens all the time that's pretty much I'm gonna you know kind of call it at that that's pretty much what I can offer as far as protection goes help you help yourself save your money don't get don't take a loss don't lose you know a bike all that good stuff and with that stay up my friends two wheels down peace Never drop the ball, I know I make it look easy, yeah